In my last video on Notion, I walked through my week-long test run, switching from Evernote to Notion for one week, so exclusively using Notion for a week. Well, since that time, it's been about six weeks or so, I started to think, okay, am I going to switch or not? And then suddenly it hit me. I haven't been using Evernote. I've only been using Notion. And the only time I've opened up Evernote is to go find a notebook or note that I want to import into Notion. That's been it. I've spent all of my time in Notion. And so apparently I have switched. So yes, I've made my decision. I'm switching from Evernote to Notion and uh, I'm pretty happy about it. So I want to walk through why I have chosen to switch to Notion. For me, my pros list and my cons list, and then you can decide if those pros and cons are enough to push you over the edge to switch. First of all, hierarchical structure. I love the structure in Notion that I can nest pages. I mean, this is very much as one of the commenters said, this is how the web works. And it's, it's really, my brain kind of thinks this way is I, I want to drill down into the level of detail that I want to drill down. And I love the fact that Notion is set up that way. Now, second, when you search in Notion, I love how you can see the breadcrumb path basically of where that item is where it's nested, basically. Um, I think search functionality in Notion is great. Some people have said, oh, well, search in, in Evernote is better, and I'm gonna get to that. I wanna mention something about that when we, when we talk about the uh, downsides. But, I mean, really, the search functionality in Notion has been really great, generally speaking, for me. I haven't had any problems finding what I need to find. Third, and this is a really big one, I love the way you can have multiple ways to view your data, whether it be uh, as a, on a table, a list view, or a gallery. You know, I'm looking at uh, a list of, of um, articles, various topics, for example. So this is set up as kind of a database of articles. This can be viewed as a gallery. This can be viewed as a list view. Uh, it can be set up, you know, viewed as a table with uh, columns for different pieces of data, created dates and things like that. Um, I mean, it's, I can view this however I want. That, that f uh, flexibility is one of the huge reasons that I am switching to Notion uh, for this type of thing. And, and by the way, in the galleries, I mean, they just added this recently. Um, you know, you can change the size of the card, you know, make them larger. Um, you can um, make sure the image actually fits uh, on each card. You know, I mean, there's, it's got a number of options. The gallery view is terrific, um, and I've, I'll be using that quite a bit. So just being able to view my data however I want to view it with these databases, it's it's really great. And this this what you're looking at here is just, it's just basically a database of, a, of different articles that that I've saved at some point in the past, and I like having them categorized. You can see I've got tags on here for them. Some people are saying, oh well, you know, Notion doesn't have tags. You can use tags in the databases when you set one up, uh, and it's it really works well. Number four, I love the way Notion allows for a visual way to organize your info, organize your documents, your notes, and where you're putting everything. Um, I mentioned that as one of the big things for me in the first video, but I mean, you have options as to how you want to lay this out. This page as my homepage might look completely different a year from now after I've used this for a while. I think I've got it set up the way I want it for now, but I've got tons of options. I could say, you know what? I haven't been using this as much. I'm going to move that here or there. I'm going to set up something different at the top and maybe a gallery, something like that. So you just have so many options in the way that you can visualize, visualize your, your information. Um, and for the homepage, I think that's a great tool, but you can use it anywhere throughout Notion. Next is the use of templates. The availability of templates in Notion and the templates that they offer are incredibly useful. Uh, and so I want to say two things about templates. One is the templates you can grab and just say, okay, that's the way I want my page to be set up when you set up a new page. And you say, okay, I'm going to click here. I've got a new page. I'm going to choose uh, one of these templates. All right, great. I don't have to get spend a lot of time setting it up. They've already got it done for me there. That's a huge win for me. Uh, but also the fact that I can set up templates in my databases and say, okay, I want this. This is a fairly new feature they've just released. And this is great. If I, if I have like a, uh, maybe there's a bug report or something like that, I'm going to um, have that page set up the same way. Have that every time someone submits a bug report, 
the layout of that is going to be the same thing because we want the same pieces of information every time they submit that. Uh, there's so many ways that could be used. Next, I really love the shortcuts to set up any object that you want. Uh, you hit the slash button and you can see you have, you know, once you start using these over and over, you'll start to recognize, oh, wow, this is a really fast way to do this. I can, um, instead of clicking around, I can use my keyboard. And I use my keyboard a lot for shortcuts. I can just type in slash bullet and I get a bulleted list. Done. I love the shortcuts. All right, a couple other uh, runner-up type uh, pros to go on the list here. You can link to all pages from anywhere in Notion. I think that's huge. Um, I'm not a coder, but you can use Notion to capture code syntax. That's a big win. I think Evernote's pretty awful with that. And I think Evernote's pretty awful with pasting uh, data as well, whether it be code syntax or anything else. Uh, it seems like I always have to reformat when I paste something into Evernote from somewhere else. I would say 90% of the time, like, oh, I don't like the way that landed. Um, and Notion, when I, I don't know how they're doing it, but it, when I paste something from somewhere else in Notion, it just works. Whether that be I've, I've grabbed things from a spreadsheet and dropped it in on a table, it, and it just works. So these were the things that really pushed me over the edge to say, I'm going to go ahead and switch to Notion. But there are a couple downsides and a couple things I'm going to miss. And I'm going to give you the big one first, and that is the OCR capabilities, optical character recognition. I, I did like having the fact that when I would do a search in Evernote, it would search through my PDFs or JPEGs or any of those image files to find the words I was searching for. That's something I'm going to miss in Notion, and I hope that they're working on that to bring that to the table at some point. Um, but I also label my documents pretty well. And so when I do a search, I'm, I'm so far, I've not had any problem finding what I need. Another downside is the mobile app. I don't think the Notion mobile app is where they want it to be. <laughs> Um, it's a little slow, um, but I'm sure they're working on that. And um, it was okay for me. That was not a, like a deal breaker for me. I do use my phone with Notion, but most of the time I'm on my laptop or on my iPad when I'm using it. So it's, it's really okay for me. Another downside would be the extra setup time. And, you know, this can be helped by using the templates they give you. But I, I will say, yeah, it does take a little more time to set things up the way you want in Notion. And you know, I was willing to live with that. And frankly, I had kind of fun, had a lot of fun doing it. So I was okay with this downside, but it does take a little bit extra time. A couple other quick ones. I will miss uh, note annotation. You know, Evernote allows you to annotate on a note and, and drop in some annotations. Uh, it'll give you an annotation summary that shows you what all you've changed, which is, that's really good stuff in Evernote. Notion does not have that. Also being able to do a uh, voice recording directly to Notion. That was something that Evernote had that I really did like and I used occasionally, but again, not enough for it to be something that would keep me using Evernote at this point. So that's my pros and cons list. The pros definitely pushed me over the edge to start using Notion full time now. And so I'm a Notion user. I've, I've, I, and there are people that say, oh, well, Evernote is a different kind of thing, has a different purpose. Everything I was doing in Evernote, I'm now doing in Notion. Um, I will say this, I'm still using Trello for my Kanban boards uh, where I kind of process ideas and turn some of my brainstorming stuff into action. Um, that's, I'm not leaving Trello for uh, the Kanban boards in uh, Notion at this point, but I have used the Kanban boards in Notion for some, uh, in some interesting ways. And so uh, right now I don't see me leaving Trello, though. I love uh, the functionality in Trello. It's, it's kind of hard to beat. So, <laughs> But I'm done with Evernote, it seems like, for the long haul, and I'm going to go with Notion. So I hope that helps. If you liked it, click the like button or subscribe. Put some comments down there. I would love to hear your thoughts on Notion, how you're using it. And um, if you've been on the fence... Have you decided to go one way or the other? And I just got to say, the comments that were posted on that previous video have been so incredibly insightful and instructive for me as I consider making this move. I want to mention a few commenters, uh, specifically uh, Gary Beeson, Carlos Bravo, Wilson Perry, I am the B-side, uh, Bob Red 0965. These are a few of them that just posted really insightful stuff, especially Gary Beeson's plus minus pros con list. All right, we'll see you in the next video.